On this week's fan service, we discuss plagiarism, Thanksgiving anime, kill a kill, faking your own death. Welcome back, back everyone. <laughs> From Whoa. American Thanksgiving for holiday US break. American. Thanksgiving, not Canadian Thanksgiving. That was uh, before. Oh, it was yes. in the before times. Yes. Uh, but mm-hmm. we're in the now times. My name is Miles Luna. I'm Isa. I'm Cole. I'm Tori. And Thanks. this is fan service. Fan service. official anime podcast I know on a new it. set. I know. A new set. Interesting. It's, it's a pretty set. I like a, it a lot. It's where you have some brick walls and some foam walls. Yeah, one of the flats definitely didn't follow me right before we oh, started yeah, yeah, recording yeah, yeah, yeah. this. Like that super didn't happen. This is a it different mile. This is a different miles. Oh, the yeah, original the miles, miles got did. crushed by a brick wall, oh, so yeah. we, we found replaced the clone. him. Yeah, we replaced oh, him with God. clone miles. Is that why I can't remember <laughs> anything like from like the early years of my child? They're just no, like implanted that, memories, like oh, in Blade Runner. Oh, yeah, I was gonna I say thought, that damn it. I thought you were just gonna stop. Like I can't remember anything. I was like, no, that's always miles. This is why every time you give me a wooden horse, I just break into tears, and I don't know why. No, it's like a Bulma figure. Every time I see Bulma over there, I don't know why, but it just really affects me. Um, hey, uh, we Thanksgiving have- might be over, but the eating is not. Oh, because oh. Oh. we got mail. Christmas came early. Oh, oh. man. What's happening? What I, wanted to, I wanted to People wait. Us- we, had this, we got this quite a while ago, so apologies for waiting on the reveal of this gift. But a certain member of our cast needs to be here because there's a really lovely letter that if it's okay with everyone... I would like to share. Okay. Yes, please. To the cast of fan service. Welcome back! Yay! I can't believe the show has been revived once again. I hope this time it's here to stay. Because I'm already obsessed with it again. I've only seen the first two episodes, and I have a whole new roster of anime on my to-do list. I just started watching The Devil's Part-Timer. And I can't get enough of it. It's hilarious. You guys keep me up to date on what is popular in the anime world. And without you, I'll just keep rewatching episodes of Sailor Moon and My Hero Academia. So thank you for bringing new anime into my world. So, to get into the proper spirit of fan service, I bestow upon you a welcome back gift box full of the usual fun Japanese snacks, both sweet and savory. Please enjoy it and welcome back. And for Tori and Crawford, welcome to the team. I'm loving the energy and commentary you're bringing to the show. (laughs) I'm looking forward to hearing more of what you have to say about anime. I hope you all enjoy the snacks and please keep up with awesome with the awesome work. Fan services without a doubt. Still my favorite RT podcast. Nice. I'm glad to have it back in my life. Sincerely, sincerely, Tatiana, also on Twitter at miso underscore vicious. Yay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much. The best RT podcast. Are these fruit roll ups that are pepperoni flavored? This is no. this has <laughs> like a steak Cheeto. Steak Cheetos. Here's, oh, yeah. I wanna I've never been to Japan. Should we just And I know you all have been. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. I Want to go really, uh-huh. really bad? Do uh-huh. it, but only because like the snack seems, the snack game seems lit in Japan. Dog, oh, 7 Eleven, you can get like a legit ass meal at 7 Eleven. They're doing food right like, over in Japan. Have, well, that's like lunch. I've been like, yeah. like going to the dentist that's a lot lately to like, you know, take care of my teeth because my sweet tooth is not getting any less of a thing. It's oh. in fact getting worse the oh, yeah? older I get. Ooh. So <laughs> I am a snack man. Like I'm a snack I'm man. I'm a snack man. You guys walk out of the room, half of these snacks are gonna be half gone. Oh fuck. Good. Yeah. Help me. Save me for myself. Well everyone tells me everyone I hang out with, they were like, You eat oh, these you cookies. cookies. You, eat the, you eat these cookies. You eat these cookies. <laughs> what happened to Issa? Oh she Why you keep friends. bringing cookies over here? I wanted the press. So we're we're back from Thanksgiving. Oh. Hopefully yeah. we watched some anime over the break. <laughs> I did. You did. I did. Yeah. Well I kind of did. The, yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Let's hop into the anime. Well, okay, before we talk about anime that we watch over the break, there's some Buckwild stuff going on in the world of animation today. True. True. Um, I don't know if you guys, you seen this? You heard about this? Uh, PlayStation. PlayStation, oh. it's their 25th anniversary. They celebrated with a PS4 lineup music video. And uh, there be some plagiarism in oh. this thing. It oh, started no. this morning. Oh, no. Today is the 4th. December 4th. Um, today's December 4th. Uh, and this morning it started when somebody posted a comparison right. shot between the PS4 lineup music video and a shot from the Steven Universe movie. Mm-hmm. Where someone said, hey, this straight up looks like traced over animation from the movie. Oops. And then a few minutes later, someone said, hey, Goblins seems to have been copied as well. This thing has stolen from like fully coolly, like all sorts of like animations on the web, on television, um, to the point where almost every shot in this thing Seems to have been yoinked. Yoinked. Uh, and it's Yoink. a bad scene, y'all. Uh, Kevin Bow was the director and animator, and uh, the thing was produced by 
Elin Animation, E A L L I N. Uh, and since then, the video has been taken down, and the animation company is saying that we had no knowledge that the work produced by Kevin Bow was plagiarized. We have ceased with immediate effect any representation of Kevin Bow's work. Uh, people started digging into this dude's uh, history, or and it's, he just, this is not the first time he's done it. Steals everything. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man, that sucks, <laughs> that's, dude. That's, that's a yikes. There's, like, there's something that we do. Like, we get reference, like animation reference, drawing reference. Like, that's a thing that is common. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then there's paying homage. Yeah. Something you can definitely do as well. But there is, there's a line, and this person didn't seem to just cross it. They like tap danced all over it. So man. like your apology immediately shoots down my default devil's advocate that I tend to go to. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Like maybe they're just paying homage or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But for like every shot. I though, know, that's yeah, what man. it used to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> speaking of Sorry, apologies, uh, food is being eaten right now. Apologies oh, yeah, to audio listeners. Oh, that's that ASMR. Hold yeah. up. Yeah, oh, you go ahead. I'm eating Mom, a crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle. This is a almond pocky. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you go. That's it. That's ASMR second, y'all. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to eat away from audience. the mic, guys. Yes. Um, but, okay, yeah. so let's get yeah. What anime have we been watching? Miles, we've been uh, following you as you've been keeping up with uh, a show that... I, don't, I, I feel bad because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's, we'll have to get to it someday, maybe today, but um, shows on Amazon don't get any attention. Amazon Prime anime does not get the love. And it's I think it often the best show of each season. There's been a few, I mean, um, Land of the Lust, was it Land of the Lustrous? That, the 3D Land one? Lustrous? Yeah. that one I feel like got it, is the one that I feel like has gotten the most attention Made out of the, the Amazon. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, never mind. I forgot Made that was on it. God, I love that show. I know no, but I, I also it. feel like Land of the Lustrous is our bubble because it's 3D animation and we mm. probably saw a lot more of it. I don't That's know fair. if it was as prevalent in all of animation as that. Um, mm. But I mean, like, the show we're going to be talking about is Recreators. Recreators. But um, there's uh, two other amazing shows on there, Dororo and um, currently airing Vinland Saga, which is no, like- I'm familiar with either yeah. of those. Vinland Saga is like currently the top rated anime on every what? site. So what is, what is it's Vikings. It's, it's actual it's like Viking, high. like- Faux history, like about a little boy. History. His dad is a rich, his dad is a <laughs> Viking who. Uh, <laughs> Something else. Sorry, is that no? Are we not gonna? Is that one not gonna it, stick? No, right, it's stuck. Right. It's stuck. It's, <laughs> it always sticks. It's stuck. It was just a delayed reaction. <laughs> Sorry, Brock. <Yeah>. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Um, Sung Wan actually, that was the one anime Sung Wan um, yeah. was really excited for, and Sung Wan is known for his impeccable taste. Yes. So. He has very good taste. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like second core, twenty four okay. episodes, maybe more. Okay, um, I gotta check that out. Yeah, but, uh, but it's just yeah, there's just so much on Amazon that gets neglected because it's a weird spot to go. I. It's a weird spot to go for, I think, American audiences. For yeah. Sure. Well, I think well, we, I mean, I don't think, well, I don't know if they're, oh, there's, mm. I think it's a weird spot for maybe anime audiences because they, they like, Good I mean, Omens yeah. has gotten a fair amount of traction. That's Jack true, Ryan true. has gotten like, okay, yeah. amounts of traction. But tra I feel like yeah. they're all niche. Potentially. Mm. Like, mm. I don't know. It did, Good Omens was big in the, the, sphere, the sphere of people who pay attention to Neil Gaiman. Mm. But I don't know if, did it break out of that? Mm. Well, I think because obviously, you know, a lot of I would my argument against that is that people were uh, petitioning Netflix to take down Good Omens. What do you why? why how is that an argument against it? Because they don't know where it is. Oh, they're mm. oh I didn't even they were I've, petitioning Netflix right, to take down right. Good oof, Omens. That's right. Oof, oof, that's a big oof, oof. That's a big oof. Okay, before we get too muddied into yep. distribution woes, um, man, I love recreators, y'all. Recreators, Yay! it's yeah. definitely going to be one what of my all-time favorites. Thesis faves. statement: It is um, characters from. A universe like a similar to alternate universe that's pretty much the exact same as this. It's a reverse isekai. Yeah, characters oh, okay. from different <laughs> forms of media are invading the real world. The real world. It maybe invading is not quite the right word. It is they are being brought into our world by one entity and are trying to be convinced to do something. And some cool. of them will side with that entity, and some of them go S rogue. Side with their creators. Um, and mm. therein lies what I think is the most interesting part of the series, which is a philosophical conversation about ownership when it <laughs> comes to art. Mm. Um, mm. It is- It's okay. tasty. It's ultimate thesis statement, as I interpret it, it as words, was that um, there's really kind of, you can break it down into, um, a character has three owners, and that is the creator, the audience, and the character itself. Um, 
you know, obviously art is people say like art's 50% artist uh, intent and 50% how it's received. Once you release art into the world, it no longer solely belongs to you anymore because it's going to be interpreted and discussed and viewed in several different ways, more often than not ways you never even thought about or intended, uh, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. Um, so there's the creator's ownership of their creation. Then of course there is the audience who, you know, for again, better or worse, like can kind of dictate sometimes where characters go or maybe not entirely, but like there is a, um, whatever they're doing has to be believable to the audience for it, for it to work. Like otherwise it gets forgotten. I mean, like to cut, we were talking last week about how Terminator has just hit the reset button the the yeah. American actions franchise Terminator, uh, because it didn't land with audiences. They tr- pushed down this p- this path of Terminator Three, Salvation, Retribution, uh, uh, Ejaculation. Like oh, that was a, <laughs> that one that was, was a, yeah, the black one. sheep of the family, but I liked it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden cool. now they're like, oh, it. none of that worked with the audience, so yeah. we got to go back and try again. Got to go try. back in time again. The two Terminators, like you remember, like the liquid one from Terminator. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To whatever yeah. they like, spoiler alert, they mix him and Arnold Schwarzenegger together. And Arnold Schwarzenegger gets liquid powers. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then, like, they're, that they're looking at the focus group, like, ah, ah. And like, no. no. <laughs> but, but, then that, but then that leads into that, that idea of acceptance, leads into um, a character also having some ownership in his or herself. Because if you are to try, like, a, a creator can't just say, like, like, we can just be like, and then Ruby. Uh, grows wings and flies away. Um, people will be like, "Wait, what? Yeah, that yeah. doesn't. She can't do that. That, that doesn't make any sense. That, was, that doesn't break. Like characters, <laughs> characters, <laughs> like characters. After you've established them as a certain thing, like you need to, like if you're going to change a character, change who they are on some big fundamental level, it needs to be believable and it needs to make sense, and you need to understand and the path there, and you can't just like snap your fingers and make something happen. When we say creators, I think the more accurate term is the creation. Yes. Because it's also, that character is also carrying with it the world in which it lives. Oh, yeah. That's it's like when you're saying, like, Ruby can't grow wings. Yeah, absolutely. The world of Remnant doesn't let characters just grow wings all willy nilly. It happens Unless. one piece. <laughs> and she ate a feather, feather, one piece, she yes. ate a feather, feather fruit. Oh, yeah. All yeah, of a sudden, yeah, getting yeah. wings. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, that's believable. I, 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 I loved it. Um, to be honest, I think towards the end, the little plot gets a little bit messy. Yeah. They kind of fell into this trap I think of feeling the need to explain how everything works and like what their big plan towards the end to stop the antagonist is going to be and it got I got muddy down with a lot of um, facts and tidbits and information that honestly not only did I not really care about I didn't even understand it mm. like they started getting like and this is why this is going to work and that's why we can create this birdcage and then this person's going to do this and like but because of this magic from that and we're going to have the writers and I was like too much I don't. But I think it's I they keep explaining it. the same thing over, over and over, and over yeah. different ways that you start to think they're explaining other things, it but they're really, still explaining the initial concept. It got real confusing <laughs> for me for the yeah. end, but um, the heart and the message of that movie rang serious. so true with me. Yeah. Um, or serious, thank you. Um, I loved it, and I cried a lot. Oh, no, the ending is. Oh, the ending. Oh not my just God. the ending. So oh yeah, there's multiple a lot things of in points there. Yeah, through there, like oh. God, just. Having the idea of meeting a character that you created is like such a wild like daydream that I think all creators have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there's some just beautiful conversations between creators and their creations in that it, series. It gets into some book wild stuff like characters talking to the creator of like like there's essentially a berserk parallel character. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And funny. she's like, Why did you put me in this world? Why did you why are you making me go oh, through yeah. hell? Yeah. There's like, so many little, little nuanced there's, like um, there's like a magical girl who whenever she attacks, she sees blood for the first time. Because it's, in her world, the there's never no bleed because it's a yeah. children's program. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then here, it's like, what is what have I done? Yeah. This I've, is really scary for me. Mm, it's um I I forgot my thought going. There's there's little there's a lot of little things though that like mm-hmm. really struck me as wonderful that they would highlight that. There's a conversation that a creation has with her creator about coffee at one point where she says, <gasps> Oh no, what is this? And they're like, it's coffee. And she's like, it smells really good. And all the all the creations constantly talk about throughout the series that like food and like smells and aromas, everything's so much stronger in our world 
because in our world, it just exists the way it does. But when in a fictional world, you have to take the time to think about all of these things. And if you're not really thinking about it, then that stuff might not exist. And the, her creator is like, oh, yeah, I guess I never really wrote a character drinking coffee in your world. So you guys don't have coffee. And like that was like little stuff like that is, is so cool. Like that's the thing to go back to Ruby. Like we've never really had the budget and time to be able to model and animate like other creatures in our fictional world of remnant oh, yeah. because we only have, we really only have what we have to make the show and, and what it needs yeah. in a recent episode, because it was a 2d map painting. We were finally able to add penguins in a shot mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, we want there to be all these animals in the world yeah. of Ruby, but because we've never been able to really put them in there, it seems like they don't exist in Ruby. And yeah. that's like, it's little things like that. that I'm just yeah. like, this is so cool. Yeah. Yes. It's so like that. Yeah. Um, so when they come to the, the when they come to the real world part of whatever makes that happen also gives them like a self-awareness well because it, like why wouldn't they just think the way the so creator wrote them so for, well so they do one guy laments really writing his character as a hothead because they need to work together and the guy just doesn't want to do it ah, yeah. um, okay, no i mean the, they they are brought by a, a character our main antagonist to what she describes as the world of the gods this is the world that made you one of these gods in this world is your creator and is responsible for all the pain and all the hardship and all mm. the loss that you have ever encountered now what are you gonna fucking do about it Mm. is essentially I see. The it's pitch like the pitch, okay. yeah. she brings them in yeah. on um so do do all of them just like go with it or do some, some of them like, do it's half and half yeah. Okay. yeah some of them will side with her and think that and, she's making a good point and others don't like either they just don't like the cut of her jib or they maybe run into someone well, else or in, they meet their, that, their creator and that's where it is, they stay so true to their characters because it's there's characters who side with her and are reluctant there's characters who side with her and are for her, there's for character her. who are against her, but like I agree with what you're saying. But you're going to side one. with no one. Exactly. Yeah. There's like mm -hmm. each character is beholden to the rules that the audience and they set forward, but it's still that character interacting mm -hmm. with the world. Because and like at, at, like the coffee incident, there's like like there's characters who are inherently inquisitive, so they're going to continue staying true to their character and trying to find out more about everything around them. There is a um, I think it's kind of the same thing as like. Um, when a writer or something is always like, I just, the characters just write themselves kind of a thing. It's yep. the same exact like premise here. It's just like what, if you make a strong enough character, then that character is going to do what they're going to do. It's something I was like always really proud of was when I started writing Red versus Blue, like Bernie was like, yeah, you really nailed Griff. And I always thought that was a weird like thing to say because I'm like, well, that's because that's just what Griff would say. Like he's always mm -hmm. going to say it like, I don't understand. No. Mm -hmm. It was like a weird thing for me to like wrap my head around because it's like when you have a character that's so well established like that, that voice seems like, you know, yeah. like it's like when you know a friend, like yeah. I would be able probably be able to tell a text from Issa apart from a text from someone else. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It, but that also goes to something that I think we're, we're going to start finding more and it'll be something that Rich Teeth itself is kind of addressing more as character voices. The more mm -hmm. people you get in a writer's room. Because mm -hmm. there, there are people who I've noticed, like, I can read a camp camp script and go, oh, Eddie wrote that. Oh, or, yeah. oh, mm -hmm. Miles wrote that. Mm -hmm. Carrie wrote that. Like, mm -hmm. there are certain little ticks, ticks idiosyncrasies that line up. You're like, okay. Like, mm -hmm. and Eddie, Max is going to swear more. Because that is <laughs> that is the character trait that he picked up on Max. <laughs> it's really funny. And it's like, okay, yeah. The, it still fits in the character that we set out yeah. that was from the beginning. It's just focusing a little more on that trait. And that's mm -hmm. what I think you see a lot of times... I mean, even like just because it's on my mind and it's so re like it's coming up like Star Wars, mm. like seeing oh, the different yeah. executions of Luke Skywalker from the first three movies to the new ones and like the complaints people had with Last Jedi. Yeah. But I mean, no one complained about Luke Skywalker in episode three and all he did was fucking cry. Like, I don't see what the big <laughs> fucking deal is. I mean, that's just me. One of my last points I want to say about like recreators. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> One of my last points I want to say about recreators. Uh, I like. One of the things I did like about it was that it actually, it was kind of, it's the similar to Shirobako, where it really was an inside look into what actually goes into making something. And one of my favorite bits was, I think, episode 16 or 17, when they're all 
like stuck together in the same building because they're trying to make the birdcage thing happen. And it's a conversation or an argument between the producer of an anime and the guy, the ind- independent game guy. And the producer is trying to get this guy to write like for them or do work for them. And he's just like, I don't have motivation or inspiration. And, and like, so their arguments are essentially the game guy, the indie guy is like, I, I, I work on what I want based on my passion. Like I, I'm going to I'm going to do this when I feel like it. Essentially, uh, I'm I'm downplaying his argument. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just trying to remember the summary. But he goes like uh, when uh, art is about passion, art is about inspiration. And then the producer of the anime is arguing with him because he's like, but what about the rest of the people that you're inconveniencing? Mm-hmm. There are deadlines. Yep. There are these, these and this, this and this. You're used to working alone. But when you work in an actual production with other people, there are other people you have to consider. Art and is I was about like, passion. <gasps> art is about inspiration. But when you sign up other people to help get your passion, your inspiration done, you are a little bit beholden you know to them. them. Yeah. It's it was sure like, oh, it man, that's how I feel. Or it's like yeah. it's such a it's it's a wonderful argument about <laughs> art and about like making art, especially when you are in this kind of scenario where we are working in teams and it's animation studio stuff. Towards the end of the series, it definitely becomes a little more literal. But I think you and I talked about it where if you want to like watch a story about what it's like to make anime or like make stories, stuff like that. Shirabako is a literal look into that world and recreators is a metaphorical look into oh yes. yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. that's so true that's yeah and which I is it. i fucking loved it yeah, yeah. isa <gasps> you told me yesterday you've been you finished something i did so this is gonna be kind of like i guess a recap uh, uh, how of, was your anime thanksgiving <laughs> yeah, anime thanksgiving <laughs> yes. uh and i think we've all watched this show i think most of our audience watched the show as well tell us what you've been watching i finished um uh, demon slayer kimetsu no yaiba Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank nice. You. Thank you. Um, I loved it. Yeah. Yes. I was so into it. Um, uh, just straight out from the get go. Um, I now understand why you were blase about or your reaction to episode 19 was as lukewarm compared to some other people. And I told uh, Cole this too. I was like, I already signed on to the show from episode like one or two. Mm-hmm. Um, episode 19 was basically just the biggest animation boner you can have. Mm-hmm. And it was really cool. But then after that, I'm like, all right, cool. So what happens after that? Yeah, that, was like, yeah, that was me. Yeah. I was just like, okay, that's neat. That was really cool. I'm going to rewatch that again eventually because it was it looked really cool. But it didn't make me love the show more. I was, I was already still, in love. I was already in love. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like. Thanks. Thanks for giving me something that I didn't know that yeah. like you could provide. That's really awesome. So it's like it's like meeting a partner and falling in love and then finding out oh they also draw real good. It's like, oh, oh cool. Yeah. Neat. <laughs> I already loved you, but very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I could love you even more now. It was like just another facet. Um I really loved it. Zenitsu, um, the Dorito boy is my child. I saw you tweet that. And it's so funny because there are multiple people who agree with me and I did not know that they would. Was Aaron one of them? Aaron was one yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just going back and uh, we're working on some marketing clips for fan service right now. Uh, I just went back and watched and I remember you two talking about Zenitsu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I yeah. liked him. Yeah. He's I, my son. I ran into an issue that I think a lot of people ran into with Black Clover. Oh. I don't yeah. inherently have a problem with him as a character. I have a rough time with the direction uh, uh, the voice actor was given. I feel like he is just, there's not a lot of, it's um, just all variation. constant loud. It's yeah. all constant loud to where like it kind of blends together for me. But mm-hmm. overall, like I don't hate him as much as I thought I was going to okay. by the end of season one. It's, my, my problem with him is that, and I could be wrong because I haven't finished it, mm-hmm. um, but it those types of characters, my, my favorite part of that type of character is that eventually, right, he's going to lean into how crazy powerful he seems oh, mm-hmm. and I don't have to deal with this other stuff to get there. But I do like the journey. Yeah. yeah. It just doesn't seem like the journey is going to ever there. end. Yes, like yeah. he's always going to be the way I, I encountered him. Maybe right. he changes. Right. Depending I, on where you are. I, I liked him. I, I don't know. It's just a feeling where it's just, I think, um, it's like the good place. And my brother asked me who my favorite was. Mm. And I went, Oh, I like Chidi the best. Chidi's best. Chidi's the best. And he and he's like, Oh, I thought you would have liked Jason because he sounds so dumb. <laughs> oh, Jason's and, my and, favorite. but he's so nice. And I was just like, Oh no, I like Chidi because he's so relatable. Zenitsu is kind of, I think to me, he's actually very relatable, but he's kind of bringing that out. Um also my favorite, uh, he has the, the best bird. 
<laughs> Juntaro! Like, it's so cute. Um, and just, like, seeing that together and stuff. I, I think, for me, I feel like the Zenitsu is the one who ends up... I How do I put it? Whoever has is animating him, for some reason, I, I'm interpreting that they're having a lot of fun with Zenitsu. Mm. So I uh, think I... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, because he's the most... He's the he's, craziest. He's kid. literally, like, electric. Yeah, yeah. It's literally yeah. like that. Yeah. So, and then, of course, they have fun with the You too. You just said something that got me thinking the direction they were given. Mm. I'm interested in that, like, adapting manga seems really interesting because you only have the direct, like, that's your inspiration for what that character is doing. Whatever was one frame on a tiny page. And that's how you're going to decide what that character, how he says it, mm-hmm. what he said. Like my my assumption, having yeah. not read the manga, is that when whenever Zenitsu is having one of his fucking freak out moments, <laughs> that page is just alive with huge like text bubbles with angular lines and action and all that stuff. And I think that translates really well onto the page because mm-hmm. it's visually stimulating. Mm-hmm. But when you combine that with an audible that yeah, I think, yeah. I'm trying I think to, recall, to me it becomes too much I too think often. it's more so like the words are squiggly and he's like has the sad face that he has normally it's not it's normally n- normally not as big letters you know what I just realized the best metaphor I can make about Zenitsu it's like I love cheesecake but I could eat a whole cheesecake <laughs> in one sitting <laughs> he's cheesecake. that's what it is for me he's, he's a, a it's a rich <laughs> rich performance <laughs> I, that if I it's could, too much I could, I could if it's too much cheesecake, cheesecake it would it, it'll I'm gonna throw out so, I don't know the meaning of the phrase box, okay all right okay I like wasabi I like wasabi but if I had an ice cream scoop of wasabi there'd be issues Tori would try it Tori would try it wasabi wasabi ice cream Oh, wasabi yeah. ice cream is dope. Yes. I'll, I'll try um, it. That's not what you for said. Some, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you like, wait, why did I think? Scoop of wasabi. wasabi. And for some reason, I thought of wasabi ice cream. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I just wanted to loop back around here and say, um, I need wasabi ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one character that a lot of people like uh, liked Inosuke. and eventually, yeah, Inosuke, uh, I had a tough time with him. Big boy? Yeah. Whoa. I had Me a tough too. time. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Torian. Um, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I had a tough time with him. It was like one of those things. Um, I was watching with a friend and we were both like, okay, he's our son now. He's our son now. She's our daughter. And I looked at, I looked at um, Anosuke and for the longest time I was like, he's, he's adopted. Like <laughs> he, he can be my son. I just, I kind of have like, I don't get to, it. He needs like, to I not just, bug me for a second. I don't get what he, yeah. I don't get it. But then something happens later and it's just like, oh, okay, okay, he's he's real now. <laughs> like, okay, kind yeah. of a thing. Where, I'll, I'll, I'll try to he's figure it out. Okay, yeah. I just don't, like, That's I don't, awful. I don't I get it. Like, you're not my real son yet. You've now earned the right <laughs> to be my I real son. I found him very funny and then I fell in love with him. Yeah. There's a certain point. Yeah. I okay. didn't I didn't like him the first time I saw him and then like very quickly fell in. What episode did you stop at, Tori? What um? Do you remember the number? What's the uh the fire ring episode? Nine, nineteen. Fire 19. ring. When is the fire? Nineteen. Breathing? Nineteen. Oh okay. You made yeah. it pretty far. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Almost there. Okay. Great. I do not like the pig guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't. I don't. Fuck. I don't fucking. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Like so, because he starts off as like very similar, right? He wants to fight. Right, I, I just I want to fight everybody. Mm-hmm. I want to, you know, I want to be the, I want to prove be the best. And I get that that's been done into the ground. Mm. But so usually when that character shows up, there's something else to them, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know if this is just a theme with these side characters in this show, but it takes so long to get to the other thing about them, mm. like the Dorito kid. Like, okay, I know, I know it's something else, something and then, else happened, and then yeah. they give us a peek, and I'm like, oh snap, okay, that's yeah, you're, cool. You're very close to getting some stuff about Nasuke. But yeah, those two characters are introduced as the one that runs and the one that fights. Oh, yeah. And like, that's who they are. For and like it does take 19 a while. episodes! <laughs> yeah. I, I, happen to find, I happen to find... They don't show us- up to like episode... 16. Oh, you, that, that's fair. I, and I, 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 I just found, like I found, I found Inosuke much 12, more palatable than Drita Child. <laughs> I, but I, I love them all now. I think to, I, I was there until he, um, until he started beating Zenitsu up. I thought it was really funny. Oh like, my I think, god! Well, I think I was just so. I think I was just. Well, I'm trying to think of which point. Zenitsu no, because needed to be no, beat wait, up. No, there, there is a part. There's a part where it's really sad and like. It's when and, Zenitsu like. Is it right when he com- comes out of the house? Yeah, and okay, he's yeah. covered. That's the part I was just like, wait, Inosuke well, is kind of an asshole. I think at that point, like, it reminded me as like it reminded me of some old ass Dragon Ball shit of oh, like yeah. this is our new enemy, like not full on antagonist, but like right. this is an enemy conflict character that we mm-hmm. need to deal with. Mm-hmm. And then just because of the fucking intro, I knew it's like oh they're gonna become. Friends. Wait, when yeah. he was protecting. 
the sister. Right? Yeah, in the box. He covers so, okay, the box. That yeah, shit was so like that yeah. makes me that like took it down. I was almost, but then I it just plummeted. Yeah, because but that's I'm like, but that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Does it? I mean, well, yes, it makes, he it makes is, sense his, for his whole the character. character is that he charges ahead. It makes sense for the world. He's yeah. a boar. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he, no, he, he charges ahead. He's a boar. He sees a demon. Yeah, He's there's a demon in the box. No demons are good. That is what he has been told his entire life. No demons good. Which brings, I think, us to the the most interesting mm. aspect of the show, which is we have been introduced to two sides of a conflict mm. and have been told that these two sides do not mix. But through the adventures of our protagonist, we, the audience, know for a fact that that is inherently untrue. Yeah. And that is my shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, goodness. I mean, you see it again with uh, Hirasha. Mm-hmm. You see it like where they're like, oh, she's evil. And they're like, luckily, the, the prophet... Dude. We won't get too into it for, for yeah. Torian's sake. You gotta finish it, dog. Yeah. You what gotta it? finish 24? it. 24? 24, yeah. 26. I think it's 26. No, it's 20. 20. It's 20. Who's 20. to say? There's not that much more. Who's Okay, I'll, I'll try. I'm, it's a, it's a fast watch, yeah. Torian. It's, I'm trying. Like it's I spent, okay. I spent most of my, it's not my turn, but I spent mm-hmm. most of my Thanksgiving rewatching Kill or Kill, so. Oh, what? <laughs> let's get into it. What'd you think? I, so the last time, it. so I only watched, yeah. this is embarrassing. It is like in my top five, but I only watched it once. Okay, and when it, when it like that impactful. I don't think that's embarrassing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I feel like when you're like, this thing is my greatest thing of my life. Then, whoa, you must have watched it like six. I, I am. A, I'm tell you why it's embarrassing because I, because <laughs> I watched Taxi, Taxi with Queen Latifah and Jimmy Fallon. Oh my god, more times than this. Show. Well, well, you have to look at it this way though. I had it on DVD. Is, but think, on DVD. think of the time commitment. It is way easier to watch your favorite movie. But I probably watched. Watch I it. probably watched Taxi enough times to like. So make up for yeah, Kill a like Kill. How many times were you paying attention the entire way through Taxi? Oh how, no, not that. Yeah. How many no, was it just that. on in the background? You were like, you were like in this scene. You yeah. can see Queen Latifah kind of does a little bit of a grimace when this <laughs> joke is brought up. <laughs> kind of showing up in earlier scene. She's still on it. Like, but any. She's the queen after all. She I, is the queen. I just like the car. Anyway, <laughs> even though it didn't make sense, it's like a crown Vic. It turns into a skyline. Anyway, yeah, yeah. um, so. It's funny because I rewatched it and then I rewatched it. Um, uh, I rewatched it with uh, my friend. And had they so, seen it? No. Okay. That was the fun part. Okay. We watched it okay. over again, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I, don't, I remember this happening like this, but it's great. Yeah. And I see why I like it. Yeah. And then her like, this is weird. Like it's like her first like level seven anime. <laughs> <laughs> like I I jumped her right. Like I threw. She was like, what was her I, anime level before? She watched. She watched Cannon Busters. Okay, and she knows about Pokemon, so I think Cannon, oh, okay. I think Cannabusters is like one. a four. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is like you're ratcheting it up. Never finished Cannabusters. Oh, you should. It's good. Um, I'm sorry. Intro song. Um, so I jumped her, just took her through her right into the deep end. Yeah, kill a kill. That's the first. That's, that's the, the first, fucking deep end. That's dog. the first <laughs> anime we're gonna watch. Does she like video games? It's not, video game, not right? like she doesn't okay. seek them out. She's, okay. she's still trying to, still trying to find a way to get her Wii to hook up to her ninety-inch TV. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> anyway, like so the current the current game I'm forcing her to play is Detroit Become Human. Oh, oh nice, nice. Because of Jackson and she likes Grey's Anatomy yeah. and it, oh, that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Um, but anyway, so we're watching Kill Kill, and I'm like, man, I right, this is so cool. This is yeah. great. And then like, there's a couple shots. <laughs> When um, what's his name? The guy who whips himself, when, like Gamagori. Yeah. Gamagori. When Gamagori, Gamagori comes on the screen, yeah. that's when she's like, "What is happening? Yeah. What am I watching?" <laughs> she was like, "Okay, like skimpy outfits. I get it. Sure. Like that's cool sure. or whatever. It's they're really playing this this fan service thing up." And I'm over here just the diehard, like it plays into the story and just wait, it's cool. Just wait. <laughs> what, you, what, you, what you essentially did, what you essentially did, was like you took someone that was like, "Oh, you kind of interested in learning about like." Like crime drama, like stories. Hey, this is a little thing called Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's very accurate. Yeah. So, like, when he comes on the screen, she's like, "What is happening?" Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And then at this point, she's starting to get and like, okay, Ryoko has the suit. The suit gives her powers. Sure. It's kind of skimpy. We're doing cool stuff. Mm-hmm. But when Ryoko starts fighting those guys, the st- the story of fighting the Elite Four is that the suit is starting to like evolve very fast. Yeah. yeah. So like. Shit was just happening, and then yeah. she kept getting up like, "What's happening?" Like it, the way Ryoko defeats that guy yeah. is like, he sends a big thing towards her way, right? And Ryoko in the suit bite onto it, and it gets sucked into his body, 
right? Yes. God, I need to rewatch the show. And then she's like, I know what what's about to happen. And then like Ryoko talks to the suit and she's like, You ready? And the suit's like, Yeah. And she just bursts out and she's Wolverine all of a sudden. And she was like, What is happening? <laughs> she was like, That's so cool. And then in the next oh, fight, nice. she fights the he she fights the tech guy who's yeah. like typing over himself. Yeah. And she's like, What do you have me watching? And then, like, she beats that guy by creating a giant fly swatter. She's like, is she going to create a giant fly swatter? I'm done with I don't know what's happening with the show. I, this feels this like great. actually just a normal person watching any kind of trigger show, frankly. Yeah, yeah. no, that's exactly yeah. what. Yeah. So, like, they're going to bring Promere back into theaters. That's right, December, December. And we have tickets to go see it. <gasps> and I'm like... This is the same people that are gonna watch that yeah. that made the movie. Oh, we're she's about gonna to go have watch. so much fun. And I'm like, I'm like, Promere is probably like level six, <laughs> but so I'm a little more accessible. And, yeah. And then like, and so it's, I was like, I did this because you like, you're like, you want to get into anime. There's a lot of things in anime that are weird. If you can sit through the whole entirety of Kill, we're halfway through. Okay. We're like oh, nice. Episode thirteen. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, if you can sit through the entirety of Kill the Kill. You can you some you of the other ready. Anime, yeah, yeah some of the other anime we're gonna watch are gonna I almost guarantee you it's gonna be tame oh yeah compared to yes. this she's, she's like fun. these angles these like the why only got it tighten in the why does she's like what's happening <laughs> she was like why couldn't he be naked but her boobs are shaking <laughs> I don't understand the rules <laughs> like, like there are no rules. <laughs> you'd be hard pressed to find maybe panty and stocking is okay. maybe a more I absurd yeah, that's, like, yeah. that's yeah. another one of my I made that ones. mistake once I tried to show someone that was like on like level two anime and they were like you showed them panty and stocking well they were it looks I, so was under the, I was under the impression that they were much higher oh. it was it was Patrick uh, Patrick Matthews oh that's okay. so funny because he, he was like Oh yeah, I watch anime. Ooh, and then no. I, 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 he was like, "Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this?" I was like, "Oh yeah, you can borrow those Blu-rays." And he came back and he's oh. like, "You can have this one back." You can. <laughs> Fam- famous last words. Oh, I watch anime. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, That's funny. I showed my sister Penny and Stocking, only because she, I, she seen it on my. I had a wallpaper on my screen. It was just the characters. It wasn't nothing crazy. And she was like, "That was like a cute cartoon." Oh, that, and is I was it? like, "Yeah." So I didn't engage in her. She was like, "You gonna tell me what it is or not?" I was like. It's called Panning Stocking, Panning Stocking with the Garter Belt. And she's like, oh, I'm going to go watch it right now. As she sits with her iPad and she pulls it up. You're like, no. Nah, oh. And I'm like, you're, you're looking at it right now? And she's like, yeah, give me your headphones. He puts on the headphones. Oh. About two hours later, she was two like. Hours. Two hours. I see. Well, she, she sat. She sat thing. on my bed, and she sat there with the iPad. She got into it And I then. seen her expressions, and she's like very quiet, and she's like, whoa. She's like, what? And she's like, you go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she liked it. If you can get past giant shit monster in the pilot, you're pretty good. You're pretty good she for the rest her, of the scene. The weirdest, her favorite part was how they, when they defeat the monster, it cuts to the puppet. Yeah. Oh, it's so yeah. cool. I love oh, it. Yeah. Ranger's yeah. ass like, God, she was like, that's, that's cool. So, so I don't, I mean, I've, I throw people into this. When, they, when someone hits me with the, oh yeah, I watch anime. You know, any like, recommendations? Oh, oh, I'm gonna you make watch you anime. That. Yeah. <laughs> Here, watch Freezing. Yeah. Well, come back and come back just to watch, me. Just jump straight to part three of Berserk. It's fine. Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's fine. Eesh. How was your Thanksgiving, Cole? I was pretty good. I actually didn't watch that much. Banned. I, I, I read. Banned. I read. <gasps> oh, okay. I was a. He's a learned I was man. A, an, an intellectual. All right. Mm. I, was an inter- I did yeah. glasses ah. up. Yeah, he did. Um, I was confused and knew what it was at all at the same time. Uh, yeah. So. I mean, it. I know I'm in a bad company because I think I don't think any of you like it. But um, I thought you liked it. Go ahead, keep going. I uh, have been reading ReZero. I'm fine with it. Okay. I think it's fine. I think it does some cool stuff. Don't like it. it you don't like <laughs> it. Just saying that. Like you don't it. like it because you don't like the main character. I didn't like. Did you like? It? You don't like the main character. It's okay, so for clarity, this is the one where he keeps the, dying, right? Yeah. ReZero. Yeah, no, yes. didn't like it. Okay. Boy, some to other world. Hardcore romancey Sakai. Hardcore violence, heavy romance plot, yeah. this guy. Yeah. I just don't yes. like the live, die, and repeat thing. That's just me. You don't like live, die, no. repeat at all? Yeah. Well, I like that that specific movie, but yes. like when you nice. die. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, it's yeah. called Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the marketing might have you believe otherwise, though. Well, it's actually called All You Need Is Kill. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck yeah, you cheer. So, anyway. It's actually called Just Put Tom Cruise in It. Yeah, <laughs> um, I don't know why they, the name. Anyway, yeah. I don't I don't like the, the theme of the like dying and repeating over the okay time. I dig it. that's cool I like it's it from the game. sense that that is his only power mm. I like it that he isn't super powered okay. he doesn't have strength he doesn't have other things it is all experience and I also like that it's not like I'll just die and try again it's like no 
you're gonna die yes. and feel it. So that is and then you get to try again. I'm glad you said that because that is what the light novel hammers home so much more. Yeah. There's so much more. internal dialogue of him being like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to like, or the pain of he's like, why? Why are you forgetting me? Mm. Why are you forgetting me so? So the whole reason I'm watching is the second season has been announced. It's coming out yeah, soon. Right. Um, I wanted to go through and I, like. If you want to start where the series, where the anime series ends, and keep reading, I believe it's volume nine of the mm. light novels. Okay. Okay. However, that means that there was nine volumes before. So I want to say, well, hey, how is that distribution? The first three episodes are the first volume. The next five episodes are the next two. From there, it's like a lot happens that isn't animated. It's not in the anime. Mm, so that's okay. what I'm trying to find right now. So I'm in the fourth volume now. And it's been really interesting, okay, like to see awesome. what the differences are. Can um, you, there's a you lot mind of throwing out one just as an example. Um, or would you rather not? <laughs> I can. Uh, so there's while he's at the man because I it 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 is also giving insight as to this was a web series before. Oh, so this was originally a guy just wrote a, his own story on the oh, web. Yeah, it got picked up. They're like, oh yeah, we'll make a series out of it. Mm -hmm. Um. After the mansion, they're like, oh, this is when it picked up as the web novel. Mm -hmm. Like the first the the first slums in the, the castle mm -hmm. and then the um the mansion, they were like, Oh yeah, like people liked it, but it was during the royal select, like when they go to the capital again. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, right. that's when it blew up. Interesting. Oh, I see, I see. Interesting. Um so some of the differences. Uh at first, like the first three, you can probably you don't have to watch or you don't have to read. Mm. They're pretty similar. It's a bit of the execution of some stuff. Um, one is that uh, how magic is explained. It's mostly explained when the, him and Roswell are in the bath. I don't remember who Roswell is. He's, He's the, clown, duke. the clown, clown duke. duke. Do you remember him? The master no. of the manor. I just like oh, the fact that yeah. something is always explained okay. when in the bath. <laughs> and I'm a simple he explains man. it and it's like, oh, well, you're you're a dark type. Like your magic is dark. Oh, okay. Later he uses it and like he finds out that his he can't control his magic gates. Okay. And so it actually like it also plays into more world building where mana is everything. Hmm. Um let's see. Another interesting thing that they kind of hammer home in the light novel is I don't remember, I haven't got, because I'm rewatching the series while I'm reading mm -hmm. to see what the parallels are. Cool. Um, something I thought, thought was interesting is they're talking about, do you remember the puppy? The puppy that bites puppy. him that's the curse oh, that yeah. kills him. So, do you remember the puppy had like a little bald head? Y no, but okay. <laughs> the puppy has a bald head. Hi. Um, nice. And <laughs> um, they're talking, like... They're talking, Rem, Ram and Roswell are talking, and they're like, oh, interesting. Um, the, this was the whole attack on the village was an attack on the mansion because they were going through the barrier to try to get into the mansion. Mm. Um, they were like, well, it's interesting that the, the main demon beast didn't have its horn. And they're like, what? And it's like, whoever holds the horn of the demon beast controls it. Oh, so shit. someone was controlling it from somewhere. And then they're also like, oh, well, the little girl who introduced the puppy to the children and like they went extra effort to save her. She disappeared whenever the the, the story was done. Oh, shit. And they're like, mm. huh, it's weird that she hasn't shown up and that Elsa is still missing. Mm. Uh, Elsa was like the bow hunter, mm. the, the first villain, the girl who. So they're already setting up like, oh, hey, there might be this group, this crew group trying to get in the mansion and trying to get Amelia. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, they also go on a, a much bigger, like where I'm at right now was the biggest first time it was like, oh, here's a complete chunk of story that wasn't in the, the anime. anime. And it's, um, do you remember how they're having the royal selection? Yes. Uh, Priscilla, the red, the red dress, okay. orange hair. Okay. She's her whole thing is like, everything works for me. Okay. Like the world has been made to work out for me. Okay. And it does like every time she does something real care and energy. Got it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a whole entire scene where they're going through the slums and like, there's like s several, like a whole chapter of them hanging out that isn't in the anime. Mm. Huh. It seems like the anime kind of mostly concentrates more on like Subaru and his, um, his struggles as opposed to 
uh, they they prioritize the story of Subaru over the story of the world mm. per se is yes. what my impression is. Yes, and I, I get that from like a storytelling you point have of view. To yeah, get through it. Like it's you kind have of the Scott Pilgrim movie did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. an adaptation mm-hmm. kind of um, <clears throat> mentality. As well as like, yeah, you just have so much time. I know there is a whole thing later. I haven't got there yet, but where like Rem fakes her death to try to get Subaru to admit that he likes her. We've all done that. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but, uh, like middle I, school dog. Yeah. yeah Fakes yeah, your you death? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I got I got a lodge up in the Canadian North for a few months. Really, the thing that fucked me up was how much that cost. I'm still paying off that loan. It's fucked. Don't do it. Don't fake your death, guys. You don't have to do that. Just wait, talk about like, your feelings. So how, how, wait, wait. How would you check to see if it worked? What? Without exposing it's that you're- It's called phone, dog. Call your friends. You're hey, supposed to be dead. Yeah, well, you're not gonna you're not gonna tell every. You want to make oh, the, you're gonna call your friends the apple and your see eye what the that gossip you're trying. Yes, like, are Torian, we talking yes. about dead miles? Yes. Okay, I was legit curious. Like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very doable. Did y'all see that on Twitter on Instagram? Hmm? <laughs> Some dude <laughs> wanted to break up with his girlfriend, so he said, "Hey, everybody on on a different account." He's like, "Hey, everyone, put Rip on my <gasps> most no! recent photo." No. No. no! Okay. Don't do that. That was a goof. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> Sh- right. Shall we end? <laughs> yeah, I think that's. We, can we? Hey guys, hey guys, just to we, make sure. Do we have to? End? I have a hey. question for Cola. Yes, 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 okay, yes, okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Real quick, real quick, real quick. I was, as I was watching the anime, my friend. <laughs> every time Ryuko does her finishing move, she says yeah. the finishing move. The alert, the words pop up on the screen. Yeah. And I got hype. I was yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah, so cool. That's awesome. Why is that? Because I tend to gear more towards adventure action anime that does that. So they, they yell out the big moves so, and they like, <laughs> I'm going to do my lightning slash thunder macaroni attack. And you're like, oh, no, the macaroni. It's a good well, attack. So, <laughs> the macaroni. I mean, it's I, I, I would say it inherently goes to our uh, attraction to patterns. Um, oh, okay. It's something that I've been like, no see her here. I've been getting into wrestling lately. What? No I've been her. getting into professional wrestling. Oh, my God. And... You can always tell when the match is over because the 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 athlete does their finisher. Mm. It's all I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do the one winged angel. I'm gonna do Judas effect. I'm gonna do this, and th- if they do that, people who watch it go, "Oh, it's done." He did the, he did the move that nobody can recover from. Um, mm. That's the same with anime where it's like, "Oh, they're doing the move. I know when they do that move, they win." Oh, interesting. Mm. And they you do that pattern over and over and over. They're always gonna win, and then they fight the enemy. Who doesn't lose to that movie? Right? It's like, what the fuck? You can't do this. Some Pavlov's dog shit right there. You can't beat the spirit bomb, no. Frieza. <laughs> That's not possible. You have to I die. I never thought bomb. of it that way. I love that. And yeah, then right. they, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they're like, okay, well, I have to train. I have to come up with a new move. I have to try. I have to learn what my so next move is. So then they have this, yeah. Then they have this backlog of moves that power scale the enemy. Yes. So if this move doesn't work. Then oh we gotta oh, go to gotta this go move to this movie. and this move oh that one worked okay so he wasn't so that's as powerful yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. like the levels Lisa. of anime oh yeah look at you look at us <laughs> look at us look at us hey look, hey <laughs> look at us huh look at <laughs> us. Like, <laughs> thought, huh? <laughs> not me <laughs> did you hey, Paul Rudd some uh, someone uh, lo- this is the last thing I will say someone on Twitter was like my whole world changed when my friend asked do you ever think that Pavlov thinks about feeding his dogs when he hears a bell ring yeah when he hears the bell I gotta yeah. feed the dog and we're just gonna leave you. On that thought this week, <laughs> remember put rip in the rip, put comment rip below so that everyone um please don't knows to enter us. Please do F. Please don't yeah. put rip. Just do F. Just yeah. do F. Everyone just do F. F. You know? ASMR fan service. Um, F for yeah, fan, fan service. Yeah. F yeah. And uh, yeah, we're we're back for a while. Go ahead and share it with your friends. Please yeah. tell your friends. And um, until then, go watch more anime. Bye. Bye. Rings bell.